I'm John Templin, John Daniel Templin. I was born August 25th, 1941 at uh, Speedwell, Tennessee in Claiborne County. John Templin was the second of three sons born to Ray and Ethel Templin. His parents farmed in the Powell Valley and were also school teachers. Young Johnny and his brothers enjoyed their time on the farm where they learned the value of hard work. Well, my main memory is work. <laughs> we worked. Uh, we had little projects we had to do. We grew tobacco. Me and my brother had the hogs. We had some sows, raised some pigs. Dad gave us a calf or two. And uh, we done that through high school. John attended Powell Valley Elementary and graduated from Powell Valley High School in 1959. He was very active in the future Farmers of America and was just the fourth member of his chapter to receive the American Farmer degree. He attended Lincoln Memorial University nearby for two years and while his brothers would go on to become school teachers, his heart was always with the farm. I come back to the farm and went into the dairy business with Dad. So I went, started helping him and then I started in the beef business too. I started, got, got into the registered pole Hereford and uh, done pretty good for a while and then it got to where you couldn't sell a Hereford bull. Nobody didn't want one. Over the years, Mr. Templin developed a strong reputation in the beef business and he still raises a few head today. In 1975, he married the former Frances Miracle, and they raised her two children on the farm, but the marriage ended after 18 years. For a few years in the 1970s, he would work as a program assistant in the county for the Extension Service. He also worked with USDA in the 80s, helping with aerial mapping of the county for the ASCS office. And for several years, he ran a slaughter and processing business near the farm. He was a charter member of the Claiborne County Livestock Association. He served on the Soil Conservation District County Committee, the Claiborne Farmers Co-op Board, eight years, and he served two terms as a county commissioner. And since he can remember, the family has always been members of the Claiborne County Farm Bureau. He was first elected to the County Board of Directors in 1968 and remains active today after serving eight years as president and on numerous local and state committees. And they're, they're more, more like a family than they are an organization. But Farm Bureau is kind of like a family, but they're also my voice. Uh, I, I, I've got to meet a lot of people that I've never, never got to have met before. Several of our representatives, I got, got to know them by name. I, I could call their name. You know, I, I didn't, didn't call them uh, senator or congressman. I, I call them by their names. Mr. Templin has devoted much of his life to Farm Bureau, just like his church, Haynes Flat Baptist Church, where he has served in many capacities over the years, including Sunday school teacher, treasurer, and for over 30 years as the trustee. When I was a kid, I was drugged to church. Mom and Dad said, you go to church, whether I'm going to or not. And then I give my life to the Lord. And it's, it's, it's part of me now, it's, it's a way of life. I wouldn't know what to do without a church. Mr. John Templin has continued to lead by example with Christian values to his community, his church, and Farm Bureau. And because of that dedication and longtime service, he receives Farm Bureau's Distinguished Service Award. It's an honor. Not everybody's going to get that, but it's an honor. I'm I'm glad, but I don't have to have it. Uh, you know, uh, I just assume somebody else get the honor with me, because I can live without being honored and things like that. The only honor I want is when I go up yonder. And he says, welcome home. You've been faithful over a few things. I don't know as I've done that much for Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau's done a whole lot more for me than I have ever do for it. You know, our theme this year is the voice of agriculture. If it had not been for people that dedicated like John and his voice uh, over the years and others too, we wouldn't be here tonight. And we appreciate, the, it gives me an honor to give John this small award for all that he's done over the years for agriculture.
Uh, thank you, David. I was told to make this short and sweet. Uh, I don't know how to make it short, but I can really make it sweet. Uh, well, that's almost shorter than uh, what it's going to be. I was sitting over here, and Daryl come up, and he said, you know what you're sitting up here for? I said, yeah. He said, no. He said, you're sitting here between Mike and David. David said, uh, just like Christ and the two thieves. <laughs> I had to do a, a double take to see if there was a cross behind me. <laughs> so, it could have been, I, I was about ready to leave. But uh, anyway, it's, it's been several years, uh, reminiscing a little bit. Back when we first started, we had the Farm Bureau Convention in the War Memorial Building uptown. Man, that was the coldest place in the world. And you had to walk three or four blocks. And you sure have improved and come a long way, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this. And with that, I'll, I'll make it short. Thank you. Thank you.